With the Hindu Credit Union now subject to a commission of inquiry, its president, Harry Harunurang, is responding. I welcome the commission of inquiry. I want the commission of inquiry. And although it may not done in the spirit of really getting the truth, but probably to have done in order to say, well, look, the commissioner for cooperative went to the court and said that the board is not guilty of any wrongdoing, misconduct, and mismanagement, but probably the cabinet of this country is not satisfied. He says a lot of those who attacked the credit union before are now in the corridors of power. And the only reason why they are now asking or agreeing to go with a commission of inquiry is they cannot accept the facts as stated in court documents that this board is not guilty of mismanagement and misconduct. But he wants to know who will be in charge of the proceedings. I have informed my attorneys that I will want to be very cautious as to who are the commissioners and what are the terms and reference of the commissioner of inquiry. And I will also want that the commissioner of inquiry must also, the end result must be criminal proceedings against who have caused the run on Hindu credit union. He has described the Commission of Inquiry, in his words, as another form of foot-and-mouth disease by this government. He says while the budget is proposing to inject $300 million into the HCU, he argues that the HCU board never asked for a bailout at the expense of taxpayers. We have carried out our fiduciary duties. What the credit union is entitled to at the end of the day is damages. Not a bailout. Not a handout. I hold a firm view that people who have mismanaged, people who have done wrong things with people's money must bear the blunt of the law. In fact, he says the HCU's assets have been valued at $389 million. That while we are saying that Ernest and Young have devalued the asset from seven, from $855 million to approximately $389 million, here, our people partnership, your people partnership government is now saying that we value this asset to be now $300 million. So it is not a bailout. It is a buyout through a fire sale. He wants the government to instead give the HCU the $300 million as a loan to be repaid in no less than 20 years, which he says would be used to repay depositors.